All right, guys, we just left the, the Lowe's. We got some fittings for the turbo. This Home Depot dicked us again. They both dicked us. We have to drill these out and retap them because nowhere sells, at least that I can go to locally, sells fittings that'll fit into this turbo. But, uh, yeah. Merry Christmas, guys. Mm -hmm. We already got some of the fittings. I got some cashews for Christmas, as you can tell. So we got one with a uh, quarter inch, they're both quarter inch thread, but one is a 3 8 nipple and one is a quarter inch nipple. One's gonna be the supply and one's gonna be the return for the, co the water, the coolant. Because we're using an SRT4 turbo on my car for right now. And then, um, we got more fittings at the house. We'll see when we get back there. guys so we got Shay here she's doing something for me while I'll get the rest of my turbo stuff ready uh, I realized I don't have to tap one of the turbo things I can use the uh, factory feed line into this little thing I made to go inside the heater coolant line so this will hook right on there now all I gotta do is tap one for this fitting right here to hook onto the back of the block because the other fitting screws in like great Oops light anyways but it screws into that blocked off coolant passage right there we'll show you oh it's right there just stick one of these in there and then stick another one in the turbo and then we are completely here coolant ready we got hose right there for it say is cutting me out a piece it's like perfect and then I can tape two pieces that go this way Because I hate when those things fall out all over the place. I put it in all my toolboxes. Where's another toolbox I have? It has it in. Other little toolbox I care about a lot. Just like that one. You got some staples or something? Well, so I can staple it together. Tape it. Oh, you got tape then? Gorilla tape. As soon as I find that other toolbox real quick, I want to show them. Whatever, I'll be back. Great guys, so Shay finished that. Awesome, thank you. Now I don't have to worry as much about the bitches falling out. So we got the oil pan cleaned out. I think we're going to start this tomorrow maybe. I got hose clamps and everything ready, so here's going into the uh, the heater core line going in. This feed line right here will connect into that one, as the uh, factory does on the SRT4. It goes off the heater core line, goes straight into the top of the turbo, and then we have this feed line that will go to the top of the turbo is the oil feed, which on the factory SRT4 it goes right right here same thing on this one it has the same fitting hole so we're going to use the same kind of fitting screw it right into there like that one but as for the coolant return it is a little bit bigger on the SRT block than it is on the first gen block so what we got itself we got ourselves a nipple around here somewhere one's in my pocket let's see if I put it back I don't know what's around here somewhere it's a little brass nipple the quarter thread uh, here it is. I, was, I wish there was a way I could convert this quarter to this 3 8 pitch because that's 3 8 and this is a quarter. Um, I couldn't find anything at Lowe's or Home Depot so we're just going to put this piece into the block, put a piece of hose and then drill the turbo out and re-tap it to one of these and use this for the turbo and just have a line of hose going from here down to the block. And then we have the return line, which we're going to use the factory return location coming out of the bottom of the turbo over there into a piece of hose that's going into right here. 
with that piece of hose. So we have pretty much everything we need to do this project. And then we have this one right here, which is our converter. This will go into the block to that, that fitting I told you right there where the oil pressure sensor goes. Uh, the oil pressure sensor will go into this hole instead while the turbo feed line will go into this one. And then we have our oil pressure setup, oil feed, oil return, water supply, and water return. Is that little fitting right there? Supply return. Cool. And we're going to use two of the stock uh, SRT hotlines. I wanted to use the third one. I probably could if I just looked around a little harder for this 3 eighths to a quarter inch. I probably could find one at Home Depot if I went back. I mean, Lowe's. I just don't feel like riding all the way out there again. Maybe we will. I'll just sit here and procrastinate for another 20 minutes and then I'll end up going. So, right now, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take that other turbo over there. That junk one with the bolt broken off in it. I always use it as a template so we can make a block off plate for the bottom of that turbo out of this and then we're going to use that cheap ebay blow off valve we put on the pt cruiser until we can buy a nice one so we're going to trace that out and cut it out because this sign is pretty thick so it's not going to bend or leak so i think i'm fine with that it's pretty straight so that's what we're going to do with that probably and if it's not thick enough we'll just get one of those plates like i did on the pt cruiser turbo and put one on there Lucky thing about that turbo is all the bolt holes are there so we can bolt it in the proper way without having a freaking pair of vice grips on there. Like I always have to vice grip that bottom one, but this one I actually could screw them all in because you can see all the holes are still there. So we almost got this up. There's that return line. I'll pop that hose off the bottom. But yeah. What do you think, babe? Thumbs up for me. What else are we talking about? We got to get. I said, I don't want to go, but we have to go to Lowe's to get the 3 8 to a quarter inch adapter. Can we look for that? Huh? Can we look for that? Uh-uh. Huh? That was a nipple, because remember, now I'm going to use this one instead. I didn't know I had this line. I found it over there. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I had one of these. I would have used this to begin with. Probably gonna return that one and the other one and get a three eighths to quarter inch adapter. As much as I don't feel like going back there. Yeah, I'll just procrastinate until tomorrow. Huh? That way I can use all three of the lines. If I do that, then I can use this third wheel line. I can just adapt it to that. Which will probably be just a waste of time because the smallest they have was a quarter and they didn't have very much quarter and shit. I just don't feel like going up to anywhere. But we'll be back once we get that template traced out. Alright guys, so Shay's cutting our template out. You can see we traced it out. She got herself some tan snips. This stuff's pretty easy to cut. You want me to hold it while you cut it? If you use the tips it's a little bit easier. If you do anything good to the outside of the black line, you know what I mean? Yeah, just use the tips. See how much easier it cuts? Just don't comb the inside, just comb the outside. We can always cut more off. Bend it down or something. Oh, did it cut me or something? The last one I cut on the inside on accident and fucked it all up. Start on this side now. Cut a little bit more straight up. Now do what you did the other side. Catch it. Cool. 
Let's see what it looks like. What like a Dorito. <laughs> like a Dorito. That's what we're going to write on it. Dorito. Can't just eat one. Alright, let's hold this while I mock it up. See how it works. Oh shit. That one works better than the other one. Now we're just going to have to drill three holes. That's the hard part. and trace it out. I have one sitting around here, so pause that or stop it. And... Alright guys, so I lied to you. I'm not going to drill and tap the turbo uh, manifold. I mean the turbo CHARA and use my own fittings. I actually went back to Lowe's again and found the fittings that I need. Not the ones I need, but ones that will work. So I've had this fitting. This is the fitting that goes from the coolant return line to the block of a SRT4 block. So, um... Sorry. So yeah, you want this piece so you can get the flared in. This is for the flared part of the coolant line, which is right here. You can see how it's cool, flared. So this will screw to there, and then you need this one to adapt down to the smaller, smaller size. This is three eighths. You need it to adapt down to quarter inch. So they didn't have any three eighths to quarter inch that were female. So what you gotta use is MIP and FIP too, also guys. So we got a 3 8 MIP to quarter inch MIP or FIP. I don't remember what's the difference. But either way, it's MIP or FIP. And then we went from this female quarter inch to a double-ended quarter inch. And that's going to be our piece that goes into the block. I don't know why I won't focus. Ridiculous, but I'll show you over here on this other block. Let me turn it flat. Right, so we got our fittings right here, and this is how it's gonna go. So here's our coolant passage stock on this 2.4 without turbo. That's the one with turbo. It's a lot bigger, so this piece will fit in there. Correct, correct. See, it's perfectly, but it won't fit in here. You can see it's too small. But this quarter inch will fit in there. That screws in there like so. Take this one, screw it into there, and then screw this into here. And yeah, we're gonna be out there a couple feet, but at least we get to use all the stock lines. And then the other, the stock line, will bolt right into there, and that way you can use all the stock coolant lines on a and wheel lines on a 2-4 turbo. So I'll be right back. Once I get done drilling this out, so see you in a little bit. All right, guys. So we got everything Teflon taped and piped up up. So I use this real tough uh, thread sealant, and I use Teflon tape. I use Teflon tape first, and then put sealant over top of the Teflon tape, so it's nice and sealed. So we got this one done. This is the coolant return. Coolant return here. Then we have our oil supply line out of the block. Oil pressure sensor goes in there. Oil supply goes here. Then we have the oil return. JB welded in there. Nice and tight. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. You can see it's nice and soft and round. Then we have the coolant supply. We're going to tap into the heater core line right here. One side, the other side, and then this side is going to go to the turbo. One to the stock coolant line. This is the oil supply line. Goes to the turbo from this piece right here. So we have this coming out of the block. Goes into here. Yay. That's done. Coolant supply goes into this one. I mean coolant return goes into this one. Coolant supply. Block off valve. Be back. Alright guys, so now we're going to do the process of tearing down the carb. So first off, I'm going to remove the cold air intake. We're going to have to remove the header. And that's pretty much it. And then we'll have to move the front bumper. The front bumper I already removed at the beginning of the video, which was the two bolts on this side. We'll have to remove the cold air intake. We might use a uh, part of it, but I doubt it. She's probably just going to go up for sale. So we got our ice can out of the way. 
And then we have to remove our hair with all these eight, I mean, 10 millimeters across there. And then we can go down to the bottom, remove it from there. We have to remove our O2 sensor. And then we can slap the turbo in there and start wiring everything up. Then we'll have to remove the fuel rail and change the injectors. So once I get the header off and the injectors off, I'll be back. So I'll see you in a little while. As you guys can see, we've got all the exhaust manifold bolts out of there. Now it's disconnected up here. I gotta remove the O2 sensor still. But uh, now I can climb down here and remove those header bolts right there, which are rusty as fuck. That's gonna be a fun one to remove. Fuck me. But I'm just gonna cut them bitches off. And then I had to remove that O2 sensor right there, which is probably why it's not working because it's laying right on the header. Gotta remove that wide band sensor right there. So I'm gonna remove that wide band, the O2 up there, and then try to get these bolts out. And once I get those out, I'll be back. See you in a little while. A long while. Alright, header's disconnected. Header's disconnected. There's disconnected. The sensors are disconnected. Now time to fish this header out of here, so wish me luck. Long tube is removed. Now we can mount the turbo manifold on here, which is gonna be one of the hardest parts, in my opinion. And it's just trying to fish this turbo in here. I'm gonna try to get from the bottom first, like I did with the header. As long as I can get in there, I can fish it up on here, and then I have to find bolts and shit, clean that off, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Peace. Before I fish this turbo up through, I'm going to drill this and mount this on here so we can have our block off plate for our turbo. So, as soon as I finish this, then we'll tuck that up through So, see you in a little bit. Alright, guys, so we got this drilled out. Focus, motherfucker. Alright, we got these three drilled out. We got meat, we got three bolts that are short enough to bolt into the turbo. Now we're going to cut us a gasket out of this or there so it's nice and tight. So let me cut this and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we have our gasket cut out, our thing cut out, and we have our turbo thing. I'm going to try to clean that off with a razor blade real quick. Sorry, I'll be right back. But um, I'm just going to mock this up too probably while I'm going. Lock it up, screw it up, get it ready so we can slap the bitch on the car and start spooling. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so we got our mock door in there. Now we're just going to tighten these down evenly. One, two, three. Until uh, it's nice and snug. As you can see, it's already starting to work. So, I'll be back once I'm done all that. See you in a little while. Alright guys, I also made myself an oil return gasket. Right here it is, that's the old one, here's the new one. Just slap that in there and we can put that back together and then I can clean the exhaust side of this off. Clean the exhaust side of my car off. Slap this bitch on there and start throwing coolant lines and oil lines. So, let me put this oil return back on there and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we got the turbo manifold down inside there. Are we done? Yeah. You enjoyed that video, leave a thumbs up. You got any questions or comments? Put it down in the comment section. Subscribe for more. And see you next time. Peace. Yeah, follow us on um, Facebook and Instagram. We're it's right. all down in the description area. Just read that. Okay.